What's up, Philly Funny Fam? Y'all know I'm searching the web, but I need to show y'all, 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 y'all. This is how Philly gets when it's lit, lit. We just won the Super Bowl, so y'all know people's is acting like they don't know no better, but guess what? Our trains are sold out to the Super Bowl parade. People gonna be acting a fool in Philly tonight, so I wanted to show y'all a little bit of footage that I'm looking up so y'all can see how this I'm still looking, y'all. I'm still looking for some information, but I got something for y'all. What will the weather be like for the parade? Y'all wanna know. It's like 20-something degrees right now. It's 27 degrees outside. It's freezing. But let me show y'all. Trains sold out. Well, the Lombardi Trophy came to Philadelphia City Hall this morning. And come Thursday, a crowd possibly in the millions will flood downtown Philadelphia to see the Eagles hoisted in a parade yes. and ceremony. Yes. Just a short time ago, we learned the plans to make it a wonderful experience for the fans. The finish line is here at the Art footage. Museum, the same place where the NFL draft was. I'm going to be getting y'all some footage as soon as it gets a little warmer. It's just freezing. Y'all see, he ain't hardly got nobody out there helping him set all this stuff up. It's freezing out there to kick off the season. Well, Action News reporter Andy McCormick is live at Philadelphia City Hall where officials announced the details this morning. And Andy, you've got the latest. Meeting already. And Rick, they're expecting even more people that came out for the World Series parade mm. in 2008 for the Phillies. They're estimating the crowds could be between a little over 1 million, possibly up to 2 million. Scary. Waiting a long time for that. The Vince Lombardi Trophy inside City Hall is the mayor and officials announced parade details today. The Eagles will leave Lincoln Financial Field at 10.45 a.m. And at Broad and Patterson, the parade will begin at 11 a.m. Then we'll head north on Broad Street, go around City Hall, then to the Ben Franklin Parkway, ending at the stage on the Art Museum steps. Mm. Organizers expect to be on the stage at 1 p.m. It is not merely a parade. So there are two parts to this. The parade is part one. The ceremony is part two. Expect surprises along the route. There will be music, but as of now, no musical artists. This is not a ticketed event and open to the public. A lot of people are going to arrive early to get the best vantage point. Let me tell you, y'all. The only way people can get down there or get any good footage on a day like today you would have had to go last night or the night before and get a hotel room and basically stay in your hotel room because they're going to be acting a fool tonight. They don't care if it's cold or not. Like, they just used to this kind of weather. So, like, I'm going to see how much footage I can get y'all from the Young Bucks. You know, my, my, my Young Bucks be out there hanging out. So, you know, I'm getting some booty. I'm going to get all that. I'll show y'all how it was. But this is just a little news that, you know, see what we're getting ready for. They don't necessarily have to worry. We right now have 14 jumbotrons that will stretch from Eakins Oval down to City Hall. We don't have magnetometers set up. We're not checking people's bags. And it's much like any other parade. We don't do that for other parades. Police do not expect crowds like the ones on city streets post-Super Bowl. They expect a more family environment. We'll have people all over, uh, on foot, in vehicles, in the air. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be on bikes. They'll be on horseback. Uh, they'll just be all throughout the general uh, parade route. Parade. Public transportation will be parade goers' best option. SEPTA Chairman Pat Dion announced this today. The Broad Street and Market Track Frank Reliance will be the best option for fans coming in for the parade. And I'm pleased to announce that Independence Blue Cross is generously sponsoring free rides all day on the Market Frankfurt and Broad Street line. Yes. And even for those people that are coming from outside of the city, officials are urging them to maybe park at a public transportation site and then take public transportation into the city. As for city garages, there are some that will be open that around the Ben Franklin Parkway. Also, um, they're warning people that if they are going to drive in, you may actually get stuck in traffic and miss the parade. So there'll be more details coming up later mm -hmm. on in the day today, including whether or not any stadium park will be open so when they tell well, the Lombardi trophy came to tell y'all Philly is real y'all I'm actually nervous because 
people don't know how to act when they get together. Like, they start to drinking and acting a fool and out there fighting and jumping on stuff and knocking over stuff and shooting and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, I mean, like, y'all gonna hear about it tomorrow. Hopefully, we gonna pray right now that nothing, God, our Father in Heaven, we're gonna ask you that everything turns out very nice in the city of Philadelphia tonight because it's gonna be a lot of you know, uh, per se, you know, I guess they're stars, you know, people's eagle stars. I'm not big on it, but they made it to the Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl. So what can I say? You know, I'm not really a sports person, but it's Philly. It's Philly's eagles. You know, who don't like our eagles? Like, who don't? So, <sighs> let me stop wrapping your ear off. I'm going to let y'all go. That was just a little sign, 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 because I'm surfing the web today. Hold on. Let me see something. I might be able to find something else real quick. I want to see what the weather will be. What would the weather be? Let's see. Congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles for winning Super Bowl 52. The city will be celebrating their first ever Super Bowl title with a victory parade on Thursday, February 8th. It will begin at the Philadelphia Sporting Complex at 11 a.m. It will continue northbound on Broad Street, take a lap around City Hall, and then conclude at the iconic Museum of Art, home of the fabled Rocky Steps and the Rocky Statue. Fans everywhere are naturally elated for their football team. Millions are expected to jam the streets to get a glimpse of the champions. So how will the weather hold for this special occasion? Nice. Sunshine for the Super Bowl parade in Philadelphia on Thursday at 11 o'clock. Look for a temperature right around freezing. A gusty west-northwest wind will make it feel like the 20s. For AccuWeather, I'm Eric Austin. Y'all, it's going to be cold. Cold, cold. So, for y'all, of those who's getting ready for the bowl party, y'all bundle up, because I can't do it. I'll be seeing y'all footage when y'all post it. So, thank you. Love yourselves. Love God first. And you love others.